Hello, my name is Simon Donahue, and uh, this is a 3D pusher tutorial on a simple car rigging. I uh, found, uh, I saw this little video on YouTube about uh, this guy who rigged up this car very simply, but he didn't explain how to do it, so uh, we're just sort of taking a look at it and uh, figured I'd make a tutorial on it. So, uh, what this thing does is uh, simply, at, as this vehicle goes down the road, the ass end kicks out, so it you know, as it comes around the corner, ass end kicks out, tires turn, ass end kicks out again, and then it'll straighten itself back out as it runs all along the spline. So it's it's actually really nice because the only thing you really have to keyframe is the um, the kicking out in the back if you want it to slide. The front tires will automatically sort of update themselves and turn as it goes around the path. So it's a uh, Guy did a really nice job, so let's get started on this thing, and uh, sort of let's just delete everything. We'll just start from scratch. We'll keep keep our path here, and let's go on our top window here. So what I have is um, me on hide or other U-Haul. Uh, the U-Hauls all grouped together except for the front tires themselves. Front tires are separate, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to link those to the truck. But we're going to put a couple of objects, dummy objects, on here on a spline so we can uh, uh, get this thing all to work as a nice rig. So first thing that we need to do is we need to draw a spline. So let's go down to uh, under the Create, under Shapes, we're going to grab a line. And we're just going to draw this out sort of in a straight line here. And we're going to go in the sub-object of this. So you can go up to Control Panel and uh, go under Modify and hit Sub to Object or just press 1. And we're going to grab our center spline up here, drag this up, and we're going to right click and bring up our quad menu. We want to make this as smooth. So there's our spline. We're pretty much set. That should work. So we're going to hit 1 to exit out of Sub Object mode. And we're going to need to put a constraint on this so this follows the path. So to do that, we're going to go up to Animation, we're going to go to Constraints, and we're going to set a Path Constraint. This will give us a little selector, and we're going to select the spline. And it's already animated to uh, scroll through. What we want to do is actually, let's just uh, bring this down, go to the first keyframe, we'll turn on Auto Key, and we'll just slide this down so it's not all the way at the end. Now, second thing we need to do is we need to select a dummy object. So under Create, under Helpers, let's create a dummy object, and this will be for our front steering. So we're going to grab this. We're going to put a path constraint on this as well. So we're going to go up to Animate, Constraints, Path Constraint, and we're going to select our spline as well. And we're going to delete these keyframes because we don't need these. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to wire this box uh, to this spline so it will run in a percentage in front. So to do that, uh, we're going to right click, bring up your quad mem menu again. We're going to go down to wire parameters. Select that and it's going to give us another dialog box. So we're going to go to transform, position, path constraint, percentage. And that'll give us something to select. Now we need to select the arc, not the line. So we'll select the arc, and that'll give us another di dialog box. So we're going to go to Transform, Position, Path Constraint, Percentage. And that'll open us up our wiring dialog box. So what we have here is, since we've already selected that in the beginning, it puts us in our right spot. Uh, so we want a one-way communication from this, from our arc. So we're going to select the center button here. And we're going to enter in some text here. So we're going to go percent equals percent plus, let's say, point uh, 7. And we're going to hit connect. But don't close up this dialog box yet, because we're going to need to adjust this, I'm sure. So let's slide it over to the side. Yeah, it's probably way in front. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> So let's hit this point zero seven and hit update. And that's still 
way too far, so let's try 0.5. Still a little far. We'll get there. 4.3. Uh, go with 4. Fifth time's a charm, I guess. And let's see. Uh, still probably pretty far away, so let's put our U-Haul, sort of line it up. We want the rear axles to be about here and our box to be somewhat in the front, some up, up here. So let's go with uh, three. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to leave our box open for right now. We'll just slide it out of the way. Now, we need one more dummy object, and that is to sort of slide around. Um, it's going to do a, a path constraint on our spline itself. So we'll go to Create, create go to Helpers, and select another dummy. And it doesn't need to be really big. And we're going to go up, do the same thing. So we're going to go to Animate, Constraint, Path Constraint, and we need to select the arc. Make sure you select the arc. And that'll give us keyframes as well, so we need to delete those. And if we, it's going to put us right in our motion panel right away. So we can slide down and we can set this to 50. And we want it to.